Senator Patrick Leahy, who is on the Senate Judiciary Committee, worries about the impact a Supreme Court vacancy will have on an already polarized campaign season. This, as the 2020 election cycle mirrors that of 2016. Local 44's Jolie Sherman talked with political analysts as we are 40 days and counting now until November 3rd. I've never seen such a politicization of the United States Supreme Court. That was Vermont Senator Patrick Leahy speaking to the Judiciary Committee Thursday about Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's replacement to the Supreme Court. Leahy told the committee he doesn't agree with rushing to fill the vacancy, considering what happened in 2016. When Obama was uh, faced with a replacement for Judge Scalia, um, it was an election year, but it was an election year where there were still 10 months to go. Typically, the president nominates someone and the Senate follows through with hearings and an eventual vote. Trish Ziplin, professor of political science at St. Michael's College, says Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell made the unprecedented decision by refusing to take hearings for Merrick Garland. Referring back to what Senator Leahy was saying about the politicization is that there's been this just enormous departure from norms. Now, some Senate leaders find it hypocritical to fill the vacancy less than two months out from the election. But Jared Carter, a professor of law at Vermont Law School, says two wrongs don't make a right. The process that's laid out is the process that's laid out by the Constitution, and we should follow it. And in fact, there's been 24, I believe, uh, Supreme Court vacancies during a presidential election year. Uh, and 21 of those have been filled. Uh, so it's not an uncommon occurrence. Carter says if we politicize the Supreme Court, it could put our democracy at risk. Well, let's suppose that President Trump decides uh, at the end of the election, uh, he says, I'm not leaving. The only branch of government probably that's going to have the power to stop that is the U.S. Supreme Court. Only the Supreme Court can really do that. And if the Supreme Court is so politicized that none of us or a broad segment of the population don't believe in it, uh, then we're in real trouble. But Carter says in order to come together, we must continue to use the Constitution as a framework. Jolie Sherman, Local 44 News.